This is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ladies and gentlemen, guess who's here? Steve Kravitz. Hello, Stephen. How you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you, Alex? Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, uh, I got my new cap here. I got U.S. Open for this year. Marjorie. Oh always, yeah. Oh, Look Marjorie, at that. Marjorie always buys me a cap for the U.S. Open every year, so I have them for like every year since for the last ten years. So, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, how you doing? You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I went to a minor league baseball game on Friday, on Sunday. You told me you were going to go to the baseball game. How was it? I sat in the front row, yeah, right behind home plate. Wow. Right behind home plate. I mean... And you were lucky because you could do that since there was no one else in the stadium. No, that's not true. It was full. <laughs> it was full. Yeah, really? Oh. Yeah, minor league baseball. It's big here in Worcester. Well, it's their inaugural season. Yeah. The Woo Sox. They call them the Woo Sox? Yes. Oh, okay. And and who are they? Uh, are they a, a farm team for somebody? The Red Sox. The They're Red actually Sox. the Worcester Red Sox. The, the Worcester Red Sox. Oh, and they call them the Woo Sox. I see. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. And this they, is the uh, third game I've gone to. And they, do they play pretty good baseball? Yeah, it's triple A. It's triple A. It's right before the majors. Okay. These are all the people who were like waiting to get called. Right. 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 And these are all the guys that years later will go, well, I was in the minors. I almost made the majors. Right. Right. <laughs> right. This is a, a step below the majors. Yeah. So, I mean, when they're going out to get new baseball players for the Red Sox, do they come and look at that team? They look more at double-A because they look at potential, whereas triple-A, they think they've kind of peaked. So maybe what, you see, what you see in triple-A is you see a lot of the guys yeah. from the Boston Red Sox rehabbing in triple-A. Uh, oh, doing what? Rehabbing. What's rehabbing? Rehabilitation. Oh, really? Like an injury. Oh, no, oh like, okay. Like, uh, I, thought, like, uh, I, I thought when you said rehabbing, all I could think of was they all had a drug problem. Right, right. I have to clarify that. Yeah. It, it's for a physical injury. <laughs> wow. Well, that's pretty good, you know? Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Got together with the whole family on, on Saturday. That was a lot of fun. They played paintball where they, like, threw the paint at each other. They threw the paint? Right, they threw the paintball. And they were a mess. Wait a minute. I mean, minute, they were wait, covered wait, from wait, head to toe in paint. Wait a minute. They didn't actually have paintball guns. Right. They just threw the little pellets. They, they threw the paintballs. Right. Huh. And they all wore white t-shirts. Yeah. And at the end of it, it looked like a Grateful Dead concert. It looked like all tie-dye. <laughs> now, is that all washable? Yes. Yeah, okay. Supposedly. Yeah. In, in, in theory, it's all washable. Yeah, but I, I don't know why you don't go with the paintball guns. They're, they're fun. Well, because then you got to wear helmets and goggles and oh, gloves. Oh, I see. Yeah, and, with this, pretty much you're, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is so, no, nobody gets hurt. Do you ever remember laser tag? Yes. I thought that was a pretty good idea. In fact, they came out with home kits. Where you could oh, actually yeah. you could actually play laser tag at home, and uh, you wore these little things on you that like a mask. yeah, where where people had to try and hit you, you know, right. and then you would do a little laser tag, and it was completely right. harmless. There's no paintballs. There's nothing you know except light, and I I, I, it's I still th going on, Alex. I think it's still going on. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm just an old guy, and I don't know where the closest laser tag is. Well, neither do I, but I see commercials for it. Well, you're an old guy, too. So. 
Well, thanks. You, thanks, you, Alex. No, you're younger than me. You're a punk compared to me, but you're still old to... Let me put it this way. If you went out to a bar and there were a lot of old 30-year-old women, okay? I wouldn't stand a chance. You'd be old, okay? Right, yeah. right. Icky yeah. old. I, re- I knew I was getting old, and this was years ago. It was right. Years ago. I was in my 40s. When I came on to a woman and she said, uh, uh, are you married? And I said, no, I'm not. She says, you're available? I said, yeah. She says, I got a mother at home I think might be interested. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you later. Right, 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 right. That's all she wrote, you know. That's life, Alex. Yeah, yeah. So those were the good old days. Yeah, we had our opportunities when we were young. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and it, I I I I don't feel bad about it, okay? That right. it doesn't exist anymore because I had a really good time. Oh yeah! While so I was I. going at it, and I I probably uh, bedded down more lovely women and and intelligent women. Yes. In my time, and I don't regret any of it. I would regret it today because they'd probably charge me with rape or something. You know, right, right, right. Yeah, or, or uh, yeah, the woman who would just be not satisfied. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to bring this up. I did this. I talked about this last night, and nobody tended to agree with me. But I just am kind of befuddled by what's going on with Andrew Cuomo. Okay. Oh yeah. And what right. befuddles me is the most recent thing, and you're going to love this is they, they keep saying, well, there's a state trooper, you know, that he came on to. And she says right. she says she was groped. And everybody goes, oh, yeah, and she's a state trooper. Well, I mean, what makes her so honest because she's a state trooper? Right, they, right, they, right, they lie, right, right. They lie all the fucking time, you know. Right. And they used to single out black people when they were giving tickets. So don't, right. don't give me st- state troopers are unimpeachable. Here's what happened. Okay, uh, and and it, it was just fascinating. Uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. He, um, according to this, now wait a minute, where is it? Oh, I, I lost it, I guess. Is that the one where he reached under her shirt and, 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 and groped her? No, this is, this is the other groping of the state trooper, the unimpeachable state trooper. Right. Uh, the governor, right? placed his finger on the back of the trooper's neck, standing behind her in an elevator to Manhattan at his Manhattan office, tracing a path to her spine with the two-word narration, hey, you. Uh, is that rape? Is that groping? What is that? I, I don't know what that is. That's you know, just some guy trying to hit on some girl. Well, that's what we used to call it, but I guess you can't hit on a girl anymore because you. They 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 say they're looking into, especially in that case, criminal charges. I mean, if that's criminal charges, then in my lifetime I would have gotten the death penalty. You know. Yeah, I would have been right behind you. Yeah. To tell you the truth. I mean, what is what is the line between flirtation and and molestation? And I think it's a pretty wide berth there. And right. What this amounts it's very to, subjective. What this amounts to is flirtation, maybe unwanted flirtation, but flirtation nonetheless. Right, 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 right. I think if it's unwanted, that's when you start crossing the line. Well, they say they say unwanted, but that's how, how can I put it? That's subjective. Maybe right. well, at, it's all subjective, Alex. At the moment, how unwanted was it? And now that there's a possibility you can sue him for money, how, how, uh, uh, right, 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 was right. It? You know, I mean, I just don't understand it that we're equating what he did in the same category as Harvey Weinstein, or right. in the same category right. as Bill Cosby, or in the same category as any number of people. I think what it does is it diminishes what a sexual assault really is. Right, you know, right, 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 Which is right, horrible right. and terrible. But let's not right. diminish all the women who've truly been molested in their lifetime, who truly right. have been raped. 
by equating what he did with that. And then, oh, we, we have to throw him out of office. And then you get all these politicians lining up because they don't want to, they want to seem like they're real heroes with their constituents. Right. Right, right, right. Even Biden called for his res resignation. And for all these people that are calling for his resignation, nobody's asked the New Yorkers what they feel. Right. You know, I'm sure if he ran tomorrow with all this baggage, if he ran tomorrow, he'd get reelected. You think so, huh? Absolutely. He's doing that good of a job. He's doing that good a job. Yeah. I mean, really? he, I, I like to say I make the quote all the time. He saved my life. How's that? By attending uh, to the COVID situation. Oh, okay. In the way right. that he did and taking the highest level of infection anywhere in the country. I mean, it was so bad, they were setting up tents outside of hospitals, okay? Right. To the lowest in the country, or the third right. lowest. I mean, come on. And that was all through him getting on the air every day and giving a pep talk and telling people what was going on. And we relied on him. And he right. did his job. Right. And really, right. that's what should count, is him doing his job. You know, I mean, if he did something horrible like rape one of these women, which he didn't do, if he did anything that was, would scar them for the rest of their lives, I would say, okay, go after him. But none of right. these cases approach that. I mean, let me ask you a question. How many times have you been on a date with a woman? You're in the car, you're kissing a little bit, and you right. stick your hand under her under her sweater uh, uh, to see and to see that's that's kind of you investigating whether she's interested. Right, 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 right. right? And and then you then if she says, "Oh, pardon me, don't do that," you right. simply would move your hand. You don't do that. Okay. So what is that? Is that groping is that flirtation what is that you know i want a redefinition of all these things they redefine well if you're already kissing you know what i mean that's pretty yeah. intimate right there yeah. yeah you know what i mean kissing is very intimate that's why prostitutes don't kiss yes you're right you're absolutely right but the other thing is he moved his hand up some woman's blouse I don't right know. How do you do that without first getting a little flirtatious? In other words, feeling the the moment out, okay? I mean, would you just go up to a woman and stick your hand up her blouse? No, I don't think so. No, I don't, don't want to get smacked. And he only did it, he only supposedly did it this once, which means it isn't something he did all the time. Right. You right, know, was, right, right. I mean, there were people like Harvey Weinstein who would invite women up to his place, up to his uh, room, and then he would say, I'm going to get comfortable and take my pants off. Right. You know, that kind right. of thing. And then eventually he would uh, he would actually wind up doing what we would defi define as rape. Right, okay? right. Uh, I agree with those who say, well, if you're using your power to get laid, um, that's wrong. But, you know, my question is, what is power? If they have, if their job is dependent upon you, this is what they're arguing with Cuomo. Their right. job is dependent upon you, then you're using your power to get laid. Right, okay. right, right, but right. Apparently, he didn't get laid in any of these cases. He just touched the woman. In most of these cases, it was verbal, you know. Right. Boy, that's a hot dress you're wearing today. Oh, I'm so upset. It's, it's going to scar right. me for the rest of my life. I, I don't know. I mean, I my feeling is if you ask the people of New York, do they want this guy to be governor? He's being real. There's an election next year. Can't you wait? Right. You know? Right, right, right. Let the people of New York decide. I'm telling you right now, I'd vote for him. You know? Uh, but uh, I I just, I don't like this, this lynch mob that has gotten up behind him, you know, Biden and Schumer and Gillibrand, she's terrible. Right, I right, mean, what right. She did to, what she did to Al Franken was it just. I will never. I'll vote. I'll vote for a goddamn right wing, uh, gun toting asshole before I'd vote for Kirsten Gillibrand. Okay, is that right? Oh yeah. What yeah. did she do to Al Franken? She it was the one who started the lynch mob, saying after he 
had took that picture pretending like he was grabbing a woman's breast in a plane. Right. Um, that he resigned, and she she forced him to resign. She was she was the main lead on this whole thing of saying, "Oh, he's got to quit. He's got to leave the Senate. That's not the kind of person we want in the Senate." First of all, he was maybe the most liberal of right. all the of all the Democrats. Okay. Now, did he actually grab somebody's breast, or was it Photoshop? It was no. It was a gag photo they took. Oh, okay. This one, she even said it was a gag photo. We didn't actually grab her breast, but they took right. a photo of her like she was asleep, okay, and he was about to grab her breast. Okay. That was all. Does that mean you have to leave the Senate because you took a photo like that? Well, apparently it does. Well, Kirsten Gillibrand forced him out, and ever right. since then I've hated the woman, just hated right. her. And here she goes again. You know, I mean, right. and the trouble with the Democrats is something like this. See, if this happened to a Republican, all the Republicans would be standing up for Cuomo. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. But the Democrats, they have a wonderful ritual called let's eat our own. Right. You know? And Kirsten Gillibrand gets hungry every now and then. And she has to eat her own. Now, what state is she from? New York. She's a senator from New York. Oh, is that right? And then that hack Schumer went along with her. Yeah, he's got to resign. Right. And the mayor of New York, who hates him, said he's got to resign. Uh, it it really is, uh, you know, it it's a terrible mess in which I think, yes, he probably didn't act properly. All right? Right. Uh, I'll tap him on the wrist for that. Hey, bad boy, you, you know, you weren't acting properly. But I don't think any of these women, no matter what, will be scarred for life because of this. You know, like some of it's the, just the It's the temperament of the country right now. It's the zeitgeist, as they call it. Yeah. 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 It's the tone of the times. And I mean, I think, you know, let's reserve this kind of outrage for right. Harvey Weinstein. I mean, I've seen the record of Harvey Weinstein. It's horrible. Everybody knew in Hollywood that he was doing what he was doing for years, and you know it was uh, it was it was pretty egregious. Right. Uh, what what uh, uh, Bill Cosby allegedly did was drug women, and then while they were passed out, have sex with them. Which you know, uh, I, I'm sorry, I like my women in some kind of a lucid state so I can hear yes. them go ah, you know. Right. 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 You, you right. Know, I, but that is terrible. That is horrible. That is just so egregious. It goes beyond horrible. You know. Right. So right, you right, go to right. these cases, and yes, these people should be should be taken care of, prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Didn't Cosby get out of jail on a tech? Yeah, on a technical. Yeah, but putting your finger on somebody's neck and moving it down their spine and saying, "Hey, you." What what is what is that? Is that is that with the same thing Harvey Weinstein did? The same thing Bill Cosby did? You know? No. Does it? No. Does, but if he's going to be punished, does he need to be punished in the same way these people were punished? You know? I mean. Well, I don't think he has to serve jail time, but he may. They may. They're going to probably force him out of office. Well, yeah, but I'll tell you, they got on me last night because I've said this about you know Louis C.K. Great, yeah, com great comic. And a nice guy. Uh, he d no longer can get work because he got accused by three women who were comedians who came up to his room. And then he said, do you mind if I pull my penis out? And none of the women said no. But so they didn't say yes. They didn't say yes, but they didn't say no. He asked for permission and none of them said no. None of them said, well, I'm sorry, I can't put up with this, I'm leaving. Right. He sat there and pulled his penis out while they stared at it. Well, he just can't work anymore. What, for being a gentleman and asking permission? Well, <laughs> come on, it's still kind of odd. Oh, it's odd. And it's strange. I mean, is, is that something you would ever do? It's not something well, I would ever no, do. because I don't want to show my penis to a bunch of anonymous women, you know. Right. But... Uh, at least he didn't just pull it out. He asked 
ahead of time, which gave people a chance to leave if they wanted to. So, you know, you have to give a little responsibility to the women who wouldn't leave the room. And yet his whole career is like, and is that on the level of Bill Cosby? Is that on the level of Harvey Weinstein? No. 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 No way. So uh, it, it's it's not even, maybe it's a little more egregious than, uh, than, uh, than Cuomo. Cuomo didn't pull out a penis. Cuomo didn't have sex with any of these women. Most of them were just based upon comments he made. Right. You know, one woman says he put his hand up my blouse. Another woman said, you know, he put the finger on the neck and moved it right. down. Right. And, and, and that's, the, that's the crux of it. Do you really think he should be thrown out as governor for that? Do I think so? Yeah. No. 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 Uh, if, you, if you want to tap him on the wrist, say, bad boy, this was not good behavior. Stop that. Right. Or we want to hold an investigation into the toxic environment in your office. I guess. Right, 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 right. That would be, I think, quite appropriate. Now, we, these women looking to get compensated? Yes. Well, motivation, right? Yeah, but, you know, I mean, it, it, how, how far does it have to go? You know, I, I don't get it. I, don't, I really don't get it. And it, maybe it's just me. I'm an old guy and I'm living by old rules. But, I, I'm, you know, I have my, I had my, you know, idea of what I, how I handled things. I never wanted to make any woman feel uncomfortable with anything right. that I did. Okay. Uh, but I would sometimes come on to them. And then if they looked like they weren't interested, then I backed off. Right, right. You know. But, but just that approach of coming on to them, if, if I were Cuomo, it would be one of the women complaining about me right now. Oh, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So where, where does flirtation end and molestation start? You know, that's the question. As a, Alex, that's so subjective. Yeah. I mean, you come know? on, the guys are gonna be flirtatious with women you know, I asked my wife, uh, Marjorie, I said, if Cuomo came on to you, what would you do? I said, I'd let him keep coming on to me. Uh -huh. she, she said, you know, good looking guy, right. great, per, you know, terrific personality, real masculine Italian personality. She said, I'd, I'd, I'd probably let him go ahead, you know, but how's he gonna find out whether somebody's interested or not without getting flirtatious? Yeah, but I wouldn't stand me sign a woman I didn't know and rub my, put my finger on her neck and rub it down her spine. No, but this was a woman he knew. This was a state trooper who was guarding him all the time. Oh, so he knew her well. He knew her well, yeah. Well, that's different. No, I wouldn't take it, you know, I wouldn't do it to a, I don't think he even would have done it to a stranger. Right. You know. But, you know, what was wrong is, is that he, he, he was stupid. He, was, he crossed boundaries. Well, he was stupid. It's like he has no boundaries. Well, he had to know that he was being stupid because you just don't do that sort of thing if you're in the position he has. Okay. You don't do that kind of thing anyway. Well, I mean, but getting flirtatious in your no, 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 no. That's not really standing behind a woman, and yeah, that's your first move is to put you. Your finger on her neck and 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 slide it down her spine. Yeah, that's your first move. Well, I guess that's his move. I don't know. You know. No, no, I, I would never do that. Well, I would never do that. You you know, but the question is, does it rise to the level of molestation? Does it rise to the level of sexual aggression? Well, like you said. In his, in his office, he created a, an atmosphere that was not conducive to women. No, that was not. Well, he, as they say, a toxic atmosphere. I hear, right. I, I hear he was a piece of shit to work for. I hear I he, he was just a tough guy, you know. Right. He ran the place like it was his fiefdom. Uh, right. Uh, and I can understand why people don't like him and why it, now that there's a chance to go get him, they're doing it. Sure. See? Wouldn't you? But because he he wasn't a, a great boss is not the reason to, you know, say, well, we're looking at criminal charges. What, for moving your finger down a guy, a woman's spine? 
and saying, hey you? Oh boy, let's give him life in prison for that one. Well, it's just, that one I think is community service. I think it's too much, okay? I just think it diminishes what rape is and what molestation is and what, you know, that kind of thing is. Right, and, right. And, and it's, uh, it's terrible. You know, but anyway, I don't know. So everybody's mad at me because I, I'm, I'm defending uh, Andrew Cuomo. And I'm defending him because I think he's a good governor and he should stay governor. And if you want to yell and scream at him and you want to file uh, uh, a sanction against him, go ahead. Right. You know. Right, but, right, right. Uh, don't push him out of office. He's done too good a job. And uh, it, what these things do not rise to the level of, of sexual assault. Okay, under any conditions. So right, you know. right. They just make it like a talk, like you said, a talk, toxic atmosphere at the workplace. Yeah, but the, the, he certainly doesn't have people who like him. Right, right. And so this is their chance to get even. There you go. Yeah, and I think that should not be the reason for us to say, okay, he should be out of office. You know, I've read everything that they've said he did, and it, it's it's amazingly minor. Right. So I don't get it. I don't get it. Hey, listen, you know, we've already eaten up 25 minutes. And really? Yeah. Always, always nice to talk to you. Always I, good to talk to you, Alex, you and know, to the people at home. If I stopped doing my show at any point every night, I would still do these with you and post them on the, on the web. Right, really, right, right, right. They're really good. Take care of yourself. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Alex. Ladies and gentlemen. Bye, folks. His name is Steve Kravitz. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Alex. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Now in its seventh year, talk like you've never heard it before. Well, there's absolutely no one waiting to talk to me tonight. Uh, and uh, so, therefore, I guess we won't do a show. Uh, or at least any more of a show. I may just call it off right now and uh, we'll... Uh, We'll say to hell with it because uh, I, I'll tell you, uh, I, I after last night, I pretty much had it with this whole thing uh, because uh, someone like myself can't have an opinion without people getting, uh, let's say, nasty about it. Okay, all right. So you know, I. Uh, 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 I walked out of here yesterday feeling very, very depressed because, I mean, I have an opinion about this whole Cuomo thing, and, and it's my opinion. It is simply my opinion. Uh, I have no more, no less of an, than that than an opinion, and that's the main thing. Um, uh, it, it's an opinion about but my, my opinion is based on my sense of fairness in this world and justice and us having our prior priorities be right. But I'll tell you what's happened. We've gotten into such a toxic atmosphere that you can't have an opinion uh, without somebody going, oh, that's terrible, let's go after him, let's fire him, you know. Uh, and I mean, I've been in the middle of a lot of this from time to time in my career where uh, because I had an opinion about something, I'll give you a good example. Years ago, uh, I had an opinion about Sam Kinison, who was a comedian. Uh, and he did a lot of material in his act about gays and so on and so forth. And I said, I like Sam Kinison. Uh, uh, immediately, some of the gay militants in, New, in San Francisco wanted a meeting with the radio station. How dare Alex Bennett say that Sam Kinison was a good comic? Oh, listen to the horrible stuff that he does. We don't want Alex Bennett to like Sam Kinison any longer. And I just went, this is, this is bullshit. Uh, as it turned out, I later on went on and did a lot of nice things for the gay community, not as a result of that, but because I wanted to. Uh, I mean, I was the, prior to this whole incident, I was the first guy to ever say on his radio program to the comedians on it, no AIDS jokes. AIDS is not funny, okay? Um, 
was one night I was watching television. They showed somebody with AIDS, and I said, "Boy, that is that's horrible! What a horrible, de de debilitating uh, disease." And um, uh, I said to the next day, the, for the comedians that were coming in, I said, "New rule, new rule on this program: uh, no more AIDS jokes." Because the reason you're telling AIDS jokes is you find AIDS funny because gays get it and so therefore it's homophobic so that was prior to them and their little meeting with us and i finally just told them to go fuck themselves and said you're going after somebody who's on your side you ought to pick your fights carefully because you don't want to lose people who are on your side and um uh, eventually they they kind of apologized for the whole thing and you know and, and we made nice nice i mean you know uh, but all I'm saying is, is that we live in a time where if you have an opinion, all of a sudden, you know, uh, people stop following you on Facebook and uh, they stop subscribing to you on YouTube and uh, they don't like you anymore because your opinion is not the way they see the world. Okay. Now, last night I had an opinion about the whole Cuomo deal. And it was what you heard me with uh, with uh, uh, Steve Kravitz a few minutes ago. Basically, my take was that, you know, it does not rise to the level of sexual assault, all right? Unwanted stuff, yeah, sure. Tasteless, I'll go along with you on that. The guy is, uh, is, a, is a sleaze bag. I'll give you that, too. But it wasn't Harvey Weinstein, it wasn't Bill Cosby, it wasn't uh, any one of a number of people who have, uh, who have, have done this sort of thing and, and really damaged people and ruined their lives. I don't think any of these women is going to be ruined by this action. In fact, some of them it looks like might even get a little money out of it because I think quite a few of them are thinking of suing him. Um, by the way, let's also mention that the Attorney General of the state of New York is one of the people considering running for governor if, uh, if uh, 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 Cuomo doesn't, doesn't run. And uh, this guy, Kim, uh, was, uh, I think he's a Republican, and he was running for, I think, mayor. Or something like that. There was something back, I just seem to remember in the back of my mind, some kind of little dust up uh, with this guy. Uh, so, I mean, the people who were doing this weren't exactly of impeccable um, uh, uh, credentials. Okay, so anyway, that, I don't want to get into all of that all over again. I, uh, but I, after last night's show, I said, look, I don't need this anymore. I really don't need this anymore. You know, I have a little opinion. It doesn't agree with yours. No reason to get nasty and mean and foul and, and, and you know, create a, a horrible situation. Uh, so that was that. Was, that, was that. Um, we only have uh, two people waiting to get on tonight. I guess I alienated everybody, okay? And it only feeds my feeling that I'm really probably going to bring this whole thing to an end. What I might do with the show is turn it into pre-recorded stuff with interviews that I do with the people that I now do it with and put those up online and then uh, do my little Monday thing, which is very nice, and nobody ever gives me a bad time about that. Uh, and 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 I've just you know I've just had it I've had it up to here, okay, and uh, you know so um, uh, I'm really considering bringing this all to a screaming scree is a screeching halt as as it is right now, and changing the whole way in which we do this show, and uh, but I, I, I it, it, I'm tired enough as it is when we get to this time of night now. And I hate, uh, I, you know, I'm not in any great shakes to do a program in most cases lately. And um, uh, being that I'm tired all the time, why should I exhaust myself by doing this every night? Only to have people, you know, just belittling me for my opinion, you know. And I don't like that. And it doesn't make me happy at all. 
Anyway, let me put some people on here who are waiting. We have about four people waiting, so we'll we'll just admit them all and let them come on here. There's uh, Robert Natali, and there's uh, Jeff, and there's Alan, and there's uh, there's uh, 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 Tony. Hello, Tony. How are you doing tonight? Yeah. Are you good? Yeah, I I see you took some heat. I I mean, I see on your page that like you can't even even when I. I, mean, I, I, well, I put on my page, I just, I put, some, I put something up today that I said, is this, um, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I can't remember what I said exactly. Uh, is this, uh, uh, groping, groping. And then I wrote, uh, I, I took a thing out of a, an item about the incident that happened with the state trooper. And I was just asking, is that groping? That's all I was asking. And people were writing like, well, fuck you. That is not money, man. And all no, I did didn't. was ask a question. No, you didn't. Oh, shut no, up. No, Robert, no. Robert, come on. No, you, no come Alex, on. come on. Robert, you're giving uh, an opinion. Robert, I was asking an Alex, academic Alex, what do you question. work for fucking Gallup suddenly and you're no, taking polls? No, I am. Uh, wait a minute. Opinion, Hold on a Alex. second. Alex. Uh, uh, Robert, I have a website uh, and uh, a, a Facebook page. And on that Facebook page, I sometimes like to ask questions and will elicit answers. And when was the was, last time you did that? About, about a week ago. I don't think so. Yes, I did. What was the question? I can't even remember. Because it was that long ago. What do you, what do you, uh, why, why am I being subjected to this? Alex, when did you why turn am this? I, why am I being subjected to this on my I'm program? sorry, I'll let you finish and then let me, no. give me a phone call. No, I'm Alex, not going to give you a phone call. why are you making... I'm just, I just, you know, I have an opinion, okay? Big deal. Then today I ask an academic question. Oh, my God. What do you mean, oh, my God? You're, you're questioning No, go my on, motives. go on, go you're on. You're questioning on. my motives. Are you in my brain? Go on, Alex. Well, are you in my brain? Go on, Alex. Do you know what's going on in there? Do you know why I put that up there? Because I saw that and I said, here's something I could ask people. Is May this, I ask is this... you a question or are you going to just talk over everyone? Oh, well, I might talk over everyone because this is my show. Okay, well, then I guess I'm, I'll just sit and listen. Alex. This is the last night I'm doing this. This It's over. I'm Alex. Through. I am through. Okay? Alex. I am through. Alex, did you hear a video clip today, an audio clip today from the governor? Did, I did hear you it? happen to hear the audio clip? I heard, I heard, in, heard. in his rebuttal yesterday, he said there was one woman, one complainant, who had been sexually assaulted before him. And in his rebuttal, he claimed that his attempts to reach out to her were merely to help her. And so what do we hear today? But an audio clip of Cuomo singing his version of Do You Love Me? This is his idea of helping her? I, who, who put out I, that? I didn't it hear was that. all over the news this morning, hear, Alex. I don't There's know. an audio I, I watched, clip. I watched the news today and I didn't see it. Just because you didn't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Go well, apparently, it. if I didn't see it and I watched the news a lot today, it wasn't that fucking important. Alex, do you really think that was and helpful know, to I, that young lady? I don't know what that is all about. I don't even know well, what you're you talking can't, you about. Well, you can't, you know, congratulations, Alex. Oh, you've become a Republican. You know something? You've, you know you've something? It's, it's washed, people like you that makes me want to become a Republican. You no, know, you're already because there. You're a fucking you've Democrat. whitewashed the you're investigation. A fucking you're a fucking Democrat that eats you've his own. White, I'm you're not a, a Democrat, Democrat so you're wrong. that eats his own. You, you, You've whitewashed the investigation. No, you I made haven't. the investigators How crooked. You? How dare you call me a Republican? You know what? Fuck you, Alex. Go fuck yourself. You know what? You're a fucking hat. And that's it for my show, ladies and gentlemen. No more after right now. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Okay. I, I you know, that's exactly what I, what I, what I refuse to put up with. You, know? you didn't. Des you didn't deserve that. No, I didn't deserve that. No. Nope. No. I don't know. I. 
last night was a different story. Tonight he came in with both barrels loaded, and I don't know. I mean, well, why can't you have your own opinion? Yeah. But, I mean, he owes me an apology. Yeah. The, <laughs> you that? Yeah, I think so, you do. That. After calling you a Republican? Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, if I owed you an apology, he definitely owes you an apology. Yes. Absolutely. Alex, can I say something about the Facebook page? What about it? Yeah. Like, when I just, I'm not trying to name it. Like, when I posted up just because I was following a thread, mm -hmm. and I was just reading it, and it's almost like, even if you, I think I mean what I said to the effect, like, you know, let it, let let the new, let the everything play out. Let him, you know, if everything comes to fruition, if he gets whatever they have to do, let it play out. These people just were, like, making, like, making, like, innuendos about me. Like, you know, not that I care. I don't even know these people. Like, they're smart. It's like, listen, I don't, do I think he's guilty? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I think you have such a rush to judgment. Like, if you don't, yeah, if you that, disagree that, with that somebody, that's, that's it. That's not what this is all about. I'll tell you what, it, what this is all about and what really bothers me. Okay, is that the fucking Democrats are eating their own. They always do this. You know, you got to say one thing about the Republicans. A Republican can fucking, you know, diddle a little girl. I mean, you got a guy like uh, Gates or whatever his name is. And mm -hmm. he just, they, they don't do anything about it. He's still on committees. He's still doing everything. The, uh, this governor uh, has this happen to him. And they all jump on top of him, want him to quit, want him to quit. Well, you know something? Fuck the Democrats. They eat their own. And that's really the reason they're, they're losers, okay? And, and so I've decided to become a Republican. No way. Why not? <laughs> Hi. Yeah, Hi, everybody. Sorry, I, sorry I haven't been on the show for a few days, but anything going on new? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's... All I will say is I am a man of power at my company. Yeah. And if I were to do something, I would be in a lot of trouble of course you would of course you would and, and, and alex that's from listen that's i'm not i'm not from, saying there's, and, there's, and, a, there's and, any, and, anything you know, if yeah. somebody felt uncomfortable they could go to hr mm -hmm. and i would be you know depending on what it was and, and, all and stuff, he, you know. he's stupid he's stupid to have done this okay yeah. but my point you want to know something and maybe wrong about this somebody correct me if i'm wrong but who when Hillary Clinton oh, yeah. was made Secretary of State, uh -huh. who was appointed uh, 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 the, the senator from New York? Kirsten Gillibrand. Gillibrand. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. Now my question is, which governor did that? Was that was that uh, what's his name? The guy the the uh, the guy went to the prostitute. Another guy who you know. Come on, he went to a prostitute. Ah, big deal. I, thought, I thought it was the guy, the uh, the blind guy. Oh no, 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 no. Well, maybe, yeah. maybe. Well, he was a he's a friend of mine. I have to ask. What was his name? I forgot. Uh, uh, uh God, I, my mind's all. I'm so uh, upset by just what just happened. That I, no, man, the guy. They, I can't even what, think what? straight. I, mean, I couldn't believe it. Robert's getting all under the what? Who the fuck cares what your opinion is? You know, why is he getting all up tight? Yeah. I, mean, I, 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 would, I would reword that, John. No, no, no. It, it's an uh, opinion. Alex, exactly. I'll, I'll be opinion. honest with you. You know, I don't agree with you, but I'm not going to argue with you. That's mm -hmm. your opinion, and that's cool. But what's exactly. fucking Robert? He's going all nuts. Well, Big he was deal. like acting like I was on the witness stand or something. Uh, yeah, it's almost like you're taking I, this. I, I, love, I, 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 I like Robert a lot, but the show last night, mm -hmm. if you listen to the show, I was listening to the whole show. I was doing some, uh, something else. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was like the the Alex and Robert show, you know. It, it was he was just blasting back and back and back, no matter what your opinion was. So, yeah, I couldn't believe that. I was like, well, what the fuck? Man? And, and, I, and that's that's his opinion and not mine. I mean, I have my opinion on it, and I, I like you, I said, look, we're all welcome to our opinion, but I yeah, mean, including you. To begin with, he's trying to tell me why I post something or don't post something. I mean, does he okay. follow my brain around all day long? Exactly. I don't know. To see what I'm anymore. thinking. You know, I mean, uh, I just, you know, it, 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 it's the kind of thing. Just these days is just getting me very depressed. 
Uh, I'm I mean, you, I'm worried about everything. I feel like it's a civil war we're on the brink of in a different way, though. Well, the non vax is the vax. Now, now Tony's starting to sound like a Republican. You're not allowed to have an opinion that is counter to somebody else who's trying to be politically correct. You know? I'm a little confused with the whole thing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Kevin. How you doing? <laughs> Phil might call in now. He thinks you're a Republican. Yeah, how are you? Yeah. 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 How are you doing, Kevin? Don't. Don't let that bother you, Alex. I mean, yeah. I know it's a, it's a bunch of bullshit, but I, I, you know, I caught the tail end of it, and I, I was listening to it downstairs, and I wasn't going to call in until I saw that going on. And, uh, I, you know, Robert is a, um, is a um, um, well-spoken person, but I think he was out of hand tonight. I think he was uh, a, a little bit overboard. He... he, he accused you of not letting him talk yet he wouldn't let you talk yeah and that's was an uneven exchange that was happening there and it was probably best that he just bail out like he well, did. well to my credit i didn't hang up on him and no, i could have no, he, i could have he bailed on himself and that's probably the best thing that could have happened you know i, you know, I was gonna I, keep I respect him here. robert and his opinion he's got a good opinion but i don't know what was going on tonight but i i I think that uh, he has a very strong opinion. Was a little bit different tonight than normal. I understand well, what some, he was trying to say, a, and I understand his some opinion. Kind, there was some kind of insanity going on. Yeah, I understand. I have his no opinion, idea what it was, you know. But yeah, I thought you, know, you guys were friends. It's got to well, be. Gotta I, be I, go, I, it has I, to go both ways. I guess he. I guess he ways. won't. I guess he won't be on tomorrow night. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, that's right. That's his spot. That's his. And spot. I'd like to say I saved the show again because I called in, and you're about ready to close everything off. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I can always count on you. I can count, yeah. I can how is New York doing with the virus? Everything's pumping up here again. They're going to do mass inside, and I mean everything's going crazy. They are doing mass inside here in the Bay Area. Yeah. Well, yeah. but you know, I don't know. I think that um, I don't think it's over with. You know. No. And, and it's everything with the Delta variant. You know, it, it, well, this, is, this no, is a new, yeah, this is a new no. virus. And but my question to you is, okay, given the Delta variant, variant and all of that, if everybody had gone out and gotten vaccinated, or at least ninety percent of America got vaccinated, would the Delta variant have grabbed on like it has? No. And I think everybody would have to have done it right away. Uh, Just like testing, you know, if they do testing right away, if they would have done the the vaccine right away, like they did testing, I think now, we wouldn't have. Now this. I've got to say that they got to do something about the goddamn CDC, because the CDC is is sending lots of wrong messages. You know, you, you would think Trump's in charge again. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So you know. But and Trump, I, I don't Trump really, had the CDC everything every other week. It changed their opinion. I, I, don't care about, I don't care about what the CDC says. I want to see the, the the data. So in every area is different. You know, our area is different from some of these rural areas and, and so forth. So that's what I want to see. I want to see how this Santa Clara County is doing mm-hmm. and the neighboring counties, because that's what's important to me. I don't care about New York. I don't care what oh. CDC says. I just want to know how we're doing. In well, case it, 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 you got to know what's happening in your neck of the woods, you know. Positivity that's, rate. And that's all you and should the, care about. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, they're at a 17. Everything's picking up really high for them. And, you know, here we go. School starting. And well, didn't I see something the, the about Marin County is suddenly having a surge or something? Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, I was looking earlier today and where well, you're living, Brian, and Santa Clara County, it was the lowest positivity rate. It was like 3% in the Bay Area. Yeah, I, I'm i being a little bit more cautious, though, right now. Oh, me too. Not me as too. low as our positivity rate. We're about one something, one one or something. Like yeah, that. unfortunately, yeah. it'll go up. So. But all, all the kids are spiking everywhere. Zero to 17, they say, is really bad right now. But now, kids zero to 17 can't all get all it, over. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Would you ask? Zero to seventeen can't get the uh, vaccine. Uh, zero to twelve. Zero, zero to 12, twelve. Yeah. yeah. Twelve and older they are. So my kids are vaccinated. Yeah. I I still you know they it's CNN they talked about you know the like you talked about the other night the FDA. Wait, you know, is Adrian vaccinated? 
No, no, no. no. See, she but she is. wears a mask. Even now, we all start wearing masks again. But even before, she knew. She says, "I'm not vaccinated, so I have to wear a mask." You know, she yeah. has her dance class, dance competition class. She mm-hmm. wears a mask during that. So. Now, at her age, though, if she came down with COVID, would it be dreadful or would it just be? They're they're showing a lot of high numbers right now that it's really? dreadful. I don't see absolutely. Dying, Children are starting to sick. die of it. Mm. Yeah. If uh, all these anti-vaxxers had got the vaccine, the kids wouldn't be at risk like this, and we wouldn't be back to wearing fucking masks again. So, so Alex. Uh, Marin County is at 15.6 per 100K uh, on average new cases per day, on average. Is that high or is that low? I can't figure that out. Mm. Well, 15 out of 100,000? Yeah, that's that's not that bad. Unless you're one of those 15. Yeah. It's, it says kind of weird. It says <laughs> daily new cases, 15.6 per 100K. Then it says very large number of new cases, averaging forty per day. So what the? What, I don't know what that means. Yeah, is it forty yeah. per k or, or fifteen point six per hundred k? I don't know. But it's picking up in Florida that the teenagers also. Oh, Florida. And that day, Santos is just saying, I don't want to talk about this pandemic. He's an idiot. <laughs> One God. third of all cases in the United States are in Texas and Florida. Yeah, I I agree with you absolutely. I mean, those governors should be taken out behind the woodshed and shot. Yes. You know? I'll supply the bullets. Yeah. No, give him, <laughs> and if, give him COVID. If people who say, I'm, I'm, thre- I'm threatening a, a governor, uh, these are people <laughs> who have killed their population, yeah. you know, and are not taking care of them and should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. You know, I mean, what we're working to take out a governor here because he, he, he ran his finger down a woman's back. But you got two governors who have, like, killed hundreds of thousands of their citizens. And tens, their visitors. Both states and have a lot And their visitors as well. And, 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 uh, and they're allowed to stay in office? Are you kidding me? And we've got a recall going in California. Yep. And you got a recall going in California for nothing. For yeah. we're upset no, but we're we... spending two hundred and fifteen million dollars to do it. Too. Yeah, but you know, you know why you've got that going on in California? Because yeah, because of the Republicans the race theory. The Republicans think it's a way of getting in there and they're wasting. Yeah. They're wasting the states mm-hmm. more. And money you know who uh, is leading the polls right now? I saw last night twenty three percent. Well, actually, forty percent are undecided, but twenty three percent are Larry Elder of all fucking Larry, people. Larry Elder. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Did, did you see the debate tonight? They, oh. they had the California debate tonight. No. That was a clusterfuck. Yeah, and Larry Elder didn't show up, or uh, ah, Kate, Caitlin, whatever her name. Jenner. Perfect. Or, 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 they or, were probably or, on a date. And Gavin Newsom was invited, but he turned it down, obviously. Yeah. Elizabeth Warren is doing commercials for it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I mean. Elizabeth Warren is there. She's saying, you're going to get you this in the mail. She goes, fill it out, and da 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 da. So that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, it's just a big scam, is all it is. Just yeah, yeah and I'm up to sitting four days, sitting in a poll station for four days when nobody's showing up. <laughs> I am totally against recalls. Yeah, Ridiculous. they didn't get the votes the first time. Fuck them. That's right. Such and, and they were. Money. I keep telling you guys at Safeway. I swear. Right after Newsom got in office, they already had a table there. Doing a recall. Oh, it was down here too, uh, Brian. It was down those, here. Those guys, those guys are getting paid good money to get those signatures. They get about five bucks a signature. It, well, what are the what are the thoughts out there? Is the recall going to work? No. 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 So, by the way, folks, for all of you in the rest of the country, who don't know what we're talking about. They they have a recall of the governor. Okay, it's a recall election, and no. here's how it runs. This is the goofiness of it all. Uh, uh, you you uh, it asks, do you want to recall the governor? And then you go yes or no. If you go yes, then mm-hmm. you go down to the next level, and there are a bunch of people running for governor. Okay, and so you then fill that out, and the and the person not who gets fifty percent, but gets the most votes, wins. They, they could get five percent of the vote, and there are fifty other people running. And the guy gets five 
percent of the vote, it's a winner. Yeah, but you but know. the um, the the, uh, the if the no no not to recall gets more than the yes, then right. they don't. Then then, yeah, then they, it's they, over. Yeah, yeah, then it's yeah. over. And you've just spent what one hundred and fifty million dollars? How much did you say? Mm-hmm. Two hundred and fifteen at this point. Two hundred and fifteen yeah. million dollars. Wow. So wow. Wh- whoever's paying, I, you know, whoever's paying those signature grabbers, that should be illegal because listen, you know, the whole concept is wrong, yeah. and it's wrong Absolutely. because Absolutely. it it's what I call buyer's remorse. Yeah. You yeah. know, and that's all it is. Yeah. And and uh, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible and horrendous. If the guy has done something criminal, arrest him. If he hasn't, vote him out of office when he comes up for re-election. Well, I kept saying about, uh, and I hate to go back to Cuomo, but okay, you don't like what he did. You think it's horrible. You think it's terrible. He's got one year left in office, and then he has to run again. And he may not even get nominated to run again because of this. All right? Or he He may may decide not to run again. But, you know, why waste the state's money going through a whole, you know, a whole bunch of legal processes when you could just wait out a year and just goodbye. See you later, pal. Uh, But but if things are bad enough, they need to get them out. Mm -hmm. If if things were, you know, I mean, what what else? If they were, if they were. There has to be a line drawn somewhere, right? Well, I mean, if they were so, so toxic that they had to stop him from from uh, raping again. okay. (laughs) but it's not that terrible. You know, it's not that egregious. It's but, not. It's not comfortably nice. You know, right? it's but, it's but, it's negative right. behavior, but it isn't. It doesn't rise to that level. Is what I'm saying. All I was saying last night, and my only argument in the whole thing was that uh, we cannot uh, equate this. You know, this is carrying with it kind of the same penalty that you get if you're. Uh, uh, if you're a movie actor who gets accused of this stuff and then never gets to work again, you know, I mean, I don't know. I just, I just think there's a certain fairness in this world, and I, I think that what he did was terrible. And um, if he did all, the, I don't think he did all the things that they've claimed, but I think he did a great majority of them. And yes, it's 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 bad taste. It's egregious. It uh, makes for a toxic work environment. And uh, yes, he's been a bad governor. Okay, so the, the the main problem is that he did it in a work environment. Yeah, and I, I yeah. was in that management situation right. too, right. and I was told straight up, "You get in that situation, you're done." Yeah, you're oh, done. Oh, yeah, no, and I think most people who work in most with, cases, if you're accused of that situation, you're done. Most people who work in companies. Uh, uh, in corporations and so on, and are in a po- position of strength, as it were, um, I'm sure do not e- e- go e- e- go along with this kind of behavior. Even if they used to, you know, even if they yeah. used to be that kind of boss, well, they're not anymore, you know, because they I had know some it. pretty close calls myself. I mean, I had to <laughs> discipline a female, and it was pretty scary sometimes when I had to discipline a female because you have to shut the door. You have to tell them what they did wrong. You have to... Wait a minute. When you shut the door... Don't, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't, when you shut the door, don't you have to have somebody in the room with you to make sure that it's... Dark. Well, I had somebody on the phone. I had somebody on the phone, but mm-hmm. there was nobody there with me. Right. Um, but, you know, they start crying and then you want to console them and just tell them you know this will be going away but you know the whole thing is but you can't get up and tell them that and you can't touch them and you can't put your arm around them and say you know it's okay you know you gotta you gotta step back and hold back on all that stuff because you know a manager in california goes through four hours of this training just to be a manager in sexual harassment you know about it probably brian every year actually we have ours coming up right now do it yeah up. it's four yeah. hours of this stuff and it's absolutely crazy stuff yeah you, know, yeah, I you can't I, even breathe wrong yeah when mm-hmm. i was younger i i started supervising when i was young and even with interviews we have people would close the the shades during interviews i would leave them open there's no yes. way even my yes. office has blinds in them i have them all the way up 
Yep. If I had to reprimand or someone to talk to, I had him in that room with HR all the time because, yep. man, all you need is one time. And, and all the years I was supervising, and I could have got, you know, if somebody accused me of something. They can accuse you, and it, it gets ugly. Yeah. Right uh, away. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, I had a producer uh, who I, I won't say her name because I'm going to just say very nice things about her, but. Uh, she may, just one of the nicest, sweetest, most wonderful people that I've ever had the opportunity to work with. Uh, but uh, and we had we had our falling outs over the years and so on. But she was, I would have to say, without question, one of the most gorgeous women I've ever seen in my life. I know who I, you're talking. I mean, about. guys would come into my studio. Mm -hmm. And their tongues would be hanging out. She was so drop dead. Were you, I you, know who you're talking about. Yeah, and and you would agree with me. Put oh yeah, I had a big crush on her. Everyone like, everyone liked the other, your other female worker, but yeah. I always liked. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. She Mrs. Was, F, right? Yes, yeah. Yes, I was in love with her. Yes, yeah. She was gorgeous. Yeah. Not Never Brian, once. You work there or something? Never, wait a minute, what? No, 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 no. But when I used to go there, when yeah. I used to go oh. to the studio audience, yeah. Wait, and the, the never, never in my whole time of working with this woman did I ever come on to her. And there was a good reason for it. Uh, the reason was I so appreciated the job she did and the relationship I had with her as a working relationship that I never, you know... Another good example would be my newswoman, Lori Thompson, uh, an attractive woman. You, everybody thought we had something going. Yeah. Everybody thought that because we did this show every morning and we always talk with each other, we must have something going. Listen, we went to Spain together, then I took her to Ibiza, and we took one hotel room because there was only one available, and we slept in the same bed together every night, and nothing happened. Why? Because I appreciated her more as a working partner than I did for any momentary, you know, sexual encounter we might have that would forever ruin our relationship. And that was before they would go ahead and give me a bad time for it. But I'm saying I've always been very respectful of that. Uh, it, the only women that I would have uh, a relationship with were women that had nothing to do with the radio stations, nothing to do with the show. Yes, Kevin. But you know what? And that was back in what the eighties, right? Eighties, late early nineties. Oh no, this was uh, this seven was early. Yeah, it was the eighties. Yeah. This 80s, no, no. 80s. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eighties, eighties. Yeah. So there were different times. Number one. Number two. If that was today, all she would have to do is say, "Well, he was in bed with me," and you'd be done. That period. That's true. Period. That's true. That's you'd be done. True. Yeah. Today I would have to think twice, and nothing would have happened. Yeah, you yeah. to be done. Well, let's go get a cheaper hotel somewhere. <laughs> you know. Yeah, right. That, you know, it's you a, know, it, you could imagine. But you, see, you that's the this, difference with this beautiful woman that you never touched, never slept with, nothing. You know, when you get home and you're in privacy, if God didn't want man to jack off, he would have made his arms shorter. Okay. No. Anyway, uh, uh, what I, what I was trying to say is you can fantasize. All, 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 all I'm saying. All, <laughs> all, out, well, right? all I'm saying also. I mean, this woman was so gorgeous that, quite frankly, she could have any man she wanted, and the last one she would probably want was me. Okay. So why should I even try? You know. So, but all, sure, but all the, I'm the saying point. is, is that the point is that you don't. Have a, you, it's the old line about you, you don't shit where you eat, you know. Uh, oh, you, yeah. you don't have sex at work. It never is a good idea. It's a yeah, terrible idea. Don't put your pen in the company ink, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't, put your, you don't put your pen in the company ink well, I think is the term, yes. And, 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 and so I, I always made it a policy never to have sex with people who I work with. It just, it didn't make sense. Sure, you know? a lot of the men were happy. Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make it funny. I said I'm sure a lot of the men were yeah. happy, uh, uh, but uh, 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 you know, I, and it, it, it and anymore. also, I mean, if you really like the person you're working with and, and you have a good working relationship, you don't want to ruin that. 
you know, but I mean, what he if, what he did, and I'm sure that Cuomo, at the very least, was flirtatious, and at the very most, was a little, shall we say, in bad taste or obnoxious. Um, but I don't think it rose to the level of. Uh, in fact, except mm -hmm. for the state trooper where he ran the finger down the back, and one woman who said. He put his hand up my blouse. None of them, all of them are just saying, he, he made me feel uncomfortable by telling me I, you know, I was wearing a nice dress that day. Or he made me feel uncomfortable because of this or that. That's all of them except for two of them. Two of them are slightly more offensive. Okay. But see, if they got the same training we did, that's exactly what it is. And if he got that training, he fucked up. Plain and simple. The question is, did he get the training? Because he was. I'm the sure he did. Cal Cal New York's right there with California. Really, they would. They would have sat, sat him down in a room and said, "Here are the rules." I mean, they tell you in this in this whole thing that you know, if you're even complimenting someone on the dress they're wearing, you're fucked. Yeah. You yeah. can't even. You know. You can't even really tell tell. A woman that comes to work, she looks nice. You're afraid to do that now. You know, and it, whether it's right or wrong, it, you can't do that now. Yeah, I don't know how kids are going to have girlfriends. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know how. Like Alex talks about, I, you got to make the first move sometime, right? Do you, have, so. do you, you don't have a son, do you, Kevin? No. I have a son. Oh, yeah. you have a son. Yeah. Yeah. How's he going to get laid in this world? I mean, well, you he's know. married. He's, oh, he's married and got oh, three kids. Oh, so. okay. Well, that's the best way to handle it. Yeah. That's why my, my son had has had two girlfriends so far in the last three months, and they're all gamers. He's never met them in person. <laughs> like all on the video game. <laughs> <laughs> he had one one in Canada, and that one in San Francisco. He actually well, saw he, that one. But here's my yeah. question. I mean, uh, today, if you're going to go out on a date, you probably have to sign like a the equivalent of a prenup or something. It's got to be hard. I mean, I mean it's you know. it's got to be very difficult. Yes, John. I, I I just got had to fill out a bunch of uh, paperwork for my job at the Warfield and the uh, Orpheum, you know. Mm -hmm. And they're they, you know they got like it's all these rules, you know, about how you're dealing with the uh, you know the um the patrons the, the patrons and stuff. And, and I didn't even read it. It's too thick. I'm just I you know. I'm just going to show them their fucking seats. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but you've got to sign all that stuff beforehand, too. You're right. I know. You've got to cover your ass. When you first get a job here in California, yeah, you're it's signing like, yourself up for that stuff. Oh, already. man, it's like about that thick of just shit that you got to <laughs> sign. About 200 different forms. Well, you know yeah, what? You, you, can't, you, you can't touch I, them when I, you're showing them your seat. You can't say that's a nice okay. dress you have on when you're you, showing you them know, the seat. i got to tell you something. <laughs> Why are they doing this? Are they doing this because they feel they want to protect their patrons and they don't want any hanky panky going on, or are they doing it because they don't want their company to be in litigation? That's exactly. the reason. That's yeah. the right only there. reason. It's not for any wonderful reason that they believe that you know we they need to protect to. our patrons or we need. To oh, protect they will tell other you that workers. it's for that reason, but it's for lit it's litigation. It's totally for litigation. Yeah. Yep. They will tell you they want, you know, they're they're in with the, you know, the new times and that it's going to be, uh, we're, we're respecting everyone, but it's all about yeah. not being in, in court. Yeah, exactly. Well, what, what, you know, what am I supposed to say? What, what if what if some ladies, you know, some old hags coming up to me and saying, hey, you know, cowboy, you want to go out and have a drink? What am I supposed to say? You yeah. can turn around and do it back. You can say yeah. I'm being sexually harassed. By a client? I mean, by a yeah. patient? Sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, the case goes but, both I mean, ways, buddy. I mean, whatever, what's going to happen to flirtation, uh, pursual, romance, all those things? It's got to happen out on the street. It, it's got to happen so, out on the street, and then when it happens out on the street, you better be careful. What about right? in, what about Kevin? What about in social media? You meet a woman on social media. And she sends you pictures, not nude, nothing, nothing twisted. And she sends you a picture of, of she's in a nice blouse or something. 
You can compliment her that way over social media without a problem, right? If she doesn't work for you, it doesn't matter. Right. Okay, now let right. me and let me yeah. ask you but this. Okay. No, nobody from work is on my Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any. I used to have two separate Facebooks. Now I have one. I don't have anybody. From well, some of that old car stuff you post to be car porn. Uh, car porn. But my yeah. question is now, who mm -hmm. has to be more careful? This is one of the things that's bothering me because I consider this sexism. Who needs to be worried more, the men working at a company or the women in power who are working at a company? Either one. It's the bosses. It's the bosses, but I'm saying if a guy says, my boss, who's a woman, raped me, they're not going to believe him as much as they're going to believe a woman who says it, and they're going to believe the woman over the guy denying they it. They have to believe it. They have yeah. to. If they're gonna, if yeah. they're gonna follow what they train you in, yeah. they have to believe it. Yeah, they they take it very seriously now. They do. Yeah, no, ma no matter who. Because I had that situation. The guy was was gay, mm -hmm. and there was a situation there where he, the guy was getting hassled by somebody else, mm -hmm. and I had to take that into my hands and and forward it on to HR. Yeah, they do full investigations. Yeah. On stuff. Careful, I yeah. say that. Take it into your hands. Well, and what happens? And what happens at companies? Okay, a lot of people. If you ask them, "Where'd you meet your wife?" and say, "Well, we used to work together." You know, it, right? Okay. Is that off the table now? I mean, supposed to be. Nepotism is supposed to be signed <laughs> off when you get in there. You know? Oh God! Right? I knew her before. The, yes. That's yeah. the thing, you know. The company I worked for, people were there for thirty years. Yeah, um, and my wife worked there for twenty. You know that kind of thing. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just, I just, uh, it, 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 the whole. Maybe it's just because I'm, I'm old. Okay, I'm really old, folks. All right. Uh, and it just, it just doesn't seem any of it seems right to me. You know. I mean, I don't, I don't know that I would want to live in this world today or be coming up in this world today because uh, the rules are all cattywampus, you know? And I used to, li I used to like romance, pursual, you know, uh, uh, taking a woman and wooing her as the term used to be, you know, taking her out to dinner, uh, getting to know her, getting flirtatious with her. I used to like that whole process. I think we all did. You know, it was a very nice, warm feeling when finally two people kind of struck it up right together. You know? Yep. And I don't know. You can't do it at work. But yeah. you can't no. do it at work. You can't do it at work. Correct. Right. Tony? You know what I was going to say? I was thinking about this whole Cuomo thing even deeper with, uh, with the diehard Democrats. None of you guys. I'm just saying in general. They all, and I really don't, they all applauded Bill Clinton. That when she came forward and he had the affair... I don't see any of these people posting on your page. He's a pig. He served two terms. Well, and he's like their look, saint. Look, you know. Um, you follow what I'm saying? Did he take I, the cigar you know, and we're, use we're, it? I mean, where 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 Clinton was concerned. Again, I'm not going to come down I, on the side of the woman, but I think that she pursued him. But, okay, but, but you don't see them killing Clinton over it though. Like he abused his power. Yeah, but, but, I mean, she she pursued him. But then again, he was using government property to get laid, you know. I mean, and I'm not trying to string him up, but they should be really, Excuse how come they're not so often? Cool, it, cool it. Adrian just came in the room. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you, you, see, you see her in the back? You see her in the back? You yeah. See her? There we Can you go. say hi, or am I going to lock you out? Come here, say hi quick. We're the new, they're well, coming out with a new version of Where's Waldo called Where's Adrian. Hey, you know. say hi. Hey there, Adrian. How you doing, kiddo? Oh, over there, over there. What? Okay. Hey, hi. Right here. Hi, this is valuable time. Alex is last night on the air. Say yeah. hi. <laughs> Why? Class. No, he just he says that all the time. Say hi. Say yeah. hi. Okay, bye. Hi, okay, bye. No, okay, bye. Okay, bye. Nah, she, she's too stuck up to you, talk to You us. know something? Besides being a great kid, she's cool. <laughs> oh, the, the, okay, go. She has my sense of humor for sure. <laughs> she does. She has. She has these funny, funny, funny things she does, 
it just amazes me and and this is so hysterical i, I would tell i would tell her i would tell her she was looking him. particularly cute today but i don't want to get hit with all kinds of suits and everything <laughs> you know? i don't want to be dragged into hr uh, no, I mean, it's just, it's just, I don't know, you know. But Alex, but Alex, you believe in those, those. I mean, you, when I listen to you and I listen to you now, when you talk about this, this, the situations you were in when you were younger and even when you were in power and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I mean, you abide by those rules naturally. So, well, I abide, I mean, I, 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 nobody had to tell me that those things were right or those things were exactly. wrong. Okay. Right. Uh, and and let's face it, no matter how many rules we make, there are still going to be people who take advantage of women yep. in that way. Yep. And um, what do we say about the women, though? You, you, you take somebody like Harvey Weinstein, okay? Terrible. Used his power. Perfect example of using <laughs> your power to bully someone into having sex with you, okay? Or do, doing sexual favors. And yet, how many of them did it because they were looking for a part? Yeah. And so the yeah. question is, do I have to particularly feel sorry for them because they were trying to use Harvey as well? They knew what they were doing, and they were willing to suck his dick or whatever in order to get a part. Well, what do you have to say about them? You know? Oh, the poor not girl. Not all of them. I mean, not the ones that... Uh, oh, not all that. of them? I well, not the ones that brought charges against him. I mean, I'm sure he, you, I'm sure he got laid from his position from the power. Well, no, he, he, a lot of these women who refused him or uh, were raped by him uh, were then put on a off list in Hollywood by yeah. him. He made it impossible for them to get parts, and yeah. that's what was so. That was really what was terrible. Yeah. You know, it was, yeah, he, um, it was bad that's enough that, that, that this big fat fuck, you know. Yeah. Uh, he did that with the other studios, then, Alex? He, huh? he puts, he, with, with, like, how would the other studios, you think, not harder than that? Because he could probably just say she's a problem or something. I wonder how that. Well, he, yeah, they just oh, passed. He just had connections. He would just oh, say, wow. don't hire this don't actor. Don't hire her. Don't hire her. Mara Servino. Morris, he, Mara Servino was out of work for a lot of oh, years I'm because she, cool. refu uh, she, either really? refu she refused to do anything. Right. She, yeah, she, she won an Oscar, didn't she? And then she yeah, Marty, yeah, uh, she won Allen's an movie. Oscar. Uh, Marty Aphrodite, I think. Yeah, yeah. I and uh, that I think was that a wine? No, that wasn't a Weinstein film. Woody Allen. Oh, well, it was Woody Allen, but I'm trying to think of Weinstein. Oh yeah, who? Films. I don't know who worked. Yeah, I like Woody's films. He's starting to grow me a little bit. Yeah, but you know, Woody's got problems now too. I know. You think yeah. that's all true? Alex? No, I, I don't. No, I don't. Like I absolutely don't. He seems pretty. I don't, back. Look, I look. See. Everybody wants to feel that. Oh, he must have done that. See how weird he is in his movies. I think. Well, you know, he plays nebbishy weird characters yeah. in the movies, but I mean, I don't think that that's his nature. Okay. I don't think. At least when you and when you, and, and yeah. uh, he even said it. He said, "Look, if I molested young girls." Don't you think I would have done it before this? And don't you think I would have done it somewhere else other than up at the house of a ex a girlfriend who hates me? That is you true. Know. Nobody's ever came forward on him. He's not like they're making like he's Polanski. Well, or it's a it's, it's a damn Ronan Farrow who's a mama's boy, and uh, you he's know. Got a weird face. I was trying to watch that show. He's kind of like a liar face, Farrow. Oh, he's, he's, they, he's, he's he seems terrible, like a snake. Terrible, he is. I think he I think is. Roman Polanski's a piece of shit. He makes good movies, so I gotta say. Roman, yeah, well, Roman, Roman Polanski is a piece of shit? Yes. Why? Why do you say that? Because he raped a young girl. He, he didn't rape her. It was consensual. It was oh, consensual. You were there? It was consensual, but it was technically it was rape because she was underage. Yeah, right. Uh, and it was uh, at Jack Nicholson's house. And he made a deal with the, here's what happened. He made a deal with the DA just to give you the shorthand of this. He made a deal with the DA that if he pleaded guilty, they would give him time served. Okay. Oh. All right. Why so, did he leave the country? Because he pleaded guilty, and then they wanted to arrest him and put him back in jail. Yeah, the, he and made they a didn't deal live up. They, they, they didn't live. They didn't live up to the deal they made with him. They reneged oh. on him. You know, they made him a deal. And so, they changed so he he admitted to something, which of course violates your rights. You're giving up your rights when you do that, 
And uh, then they said, oh, well, all bets are off. You're going to jail because you just admitted to it. Yeah. And that's when he got on a plane and left the country. Mm -hmm. Other, yep. You know. And he's had many K times when he's asked to come back, and they've said, well, you come back first, and then <laughs> we'll let you know whether we're going to. And he says, come on, you know. I mean, yeah. he'd love to come back here. Was, was he out of country on the on the uh, on this deal when uh, his wife was well, murdered? No, no, he was here. Uh, he was here when that happened. Yeah. He was yeah. here when Sharon. That's Tate perhaps what set him off to be. Yeah, that, when, when Sharon Tate was murdered, that happened way, way before the deal with. Yeah. Uh, and I think it weirded him girl. out a lot. And this okay. whole thing with the younger girl was part of that getting weirded out. I mean, because it wasn't it wasn't his nature either. I, got, I guess I got to Google him. Yeah. Yeah. When he direct when he directed Chinatown, he wasn't under arrest. No. Oh no. 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 Uh, uh, but he did win an Academy. He did like win. He did win an Academy Award for Best Director while he was out of the country. You know. Yep. Chinatown. Yeah. Great movie. Good, yeah, good movie. Good yeah. movie. Yep. You know what's a great movie? And I still get scared. Me and my mother watched it once. Poltergeist? That, that Rosemary's Baby, those actors in that yeah, movie, yeah. Guy, that scares the shit out of me. Yeah, I told Shaggy once when I tried watching it, I got to turn the lights on. Even It was just scary, the last scene in you that. You know, Tony, you're weird. Anyway, I'm scared of the movie, Alex. Huh? I was scared because it was so well acted at the end, that last scene. when you, I don't know who the old man is, the actor. He, he was like the leader of the Covenant, the, co the, co the clan like. The Covenant. It was, the Covenant. Because I, I had this school, that guy was so good in L.A. I said, oh, this is scary, I said. No, it, it, it was a very good movie. Polanski yeah. was well, a very was good, Polanski shit. was a very good director, and it's yeah. a shame, you know, what... It, 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 luckily, he's been able to go to Europe and still make good films. So yeah. that's, that's the positive on it. It's yeah. just that it's our loss and Europe's gain. Um, and uh, he can travel anywhere in Europe now. They tried to make it so that he couldn't. They could, he could get arrested if he went to like one country or another. And they said that nah, you know, they decided uh, they they couldn't they couldn't get him that far away. So he can go anywhere. He can, and he uh, he's an old guy now. I don't know how many more movies he's got left in him. You know, so how old is he? One thing. Oh God, I think he's got to be in his eighties. What? One thing tonight that was sort of uncomfortable is I was watching uh, Chris Cuomo, mm -hmm. and I'm assuming this is like one of the top stories, right? <laughs> and yeah. He, he sat there and talked about American uh, America Got Talent a singer who has cancer and she's not going to be singing on the program anymore. So he he spent a half hour talking about. Well, you know, that. he's he's in a lot of trouble too because they're yeah. saying that he was he was consulting his brother on how to handle the whole situation which yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that it's his brother for crying out loud I mean you can't even be brotherly anymore without getting in trouble yeah like anything. I can't you know it's not guilt by association I mean he probably told his brother look stick to your guns don't admit to anything and you know whatever uh, brothers talk to each other they have the right to do this it's like the time I'll tell you quickly my mother was still working at the the K, uh, KMEL doing her weekly show and I was I left there and they were threatening to sue me and things like that and my lawyer said to me mm -hmm. your mother still has a show on KMEL doesn't she and I said yeah and she said don't talk to her oh, how do you not talk to your mother <laughs> exactly on, how do you not me. talk to your mother okay but that's yeah. it's a perfect example like they, yeah. don't talk to your brother he's in trouble <laughs> You know. Hey, you know, Jeff, you haven't said anything tonight, I don't think, have you? Probably because he's muted. Yeah, he is muted, but uh, why don't you say goodbye, Jeff? You know, you're muted. Goodbye, Jeff. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I love just having you there, you know. You're, you're like <sighs> one of the squares on the beginning of the Brady Bunch. Uh, <laughs> Thank you All very much, Alex, work. for being here tonight. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, uh, Tony. Thank you, Brian. I really appreciate it when you heard me. And, and, and uh, of course, uh, 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 John, and then also um, uh, Kevin, because Kevin and both Kevin and uh, uh, Brian uh, came on here because they heard what was going on earlier. We, 
and we they, had to save the show. They had to save the show. Well, Kevin you, and I. Well, Kevin. you did it, and I Good appreciate job, it. What else are friends for, right? You're welcome, millions of viewers. You're welcome. But yeah, everybody. <laughs> give, every, why don't you give them all a good, big wave goodbye, and I'll give you, of course, the wave goodbye back. There we go. No, big wave goodbye back, and uh, we'll see them all later, okay? Maybe tomorrow night. I'm back here. Uh, anyway... Uh, we'll take a, a break here and uh, go off for 22 hours, something like that. Was it 22 hours? Yeah, and then we'll be back tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, 10:30, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And please get vaccinated, okay?